I'll have to fucking time walk. You still think I'm cool? <laughs> That's all I ever wanted. Not everybody. Just the one person out there thinks I'm cool. I think most people storm call her here. I'm looking at tree speaker though. Hell, storm caller probably wheels, huh? You can almost take the charter course and wheel storm caller. Just like have a better storm caller deck with more things to copy. Caleb D Classic here. We'll see how it turns out. TV. I got some nachos in my tummy. Hey, not the wallet inspector. I think it's the 14 months there. Eternal Witness Snapcaster. Jeez. The Time Walk Wet Dream. There's birds here, too. Eternal Witness is a little bit better than Snapcaster, because you can continue using the time walk, whereas Snapcaster exiles it. There we go. Mystical Tutor means that I have the time walk more often. versus Guild Lotus. If we end up with like traps and stuff, then the fetch is really nice. But like Sylvan Library, have the fetch for it. Uh. Excuse me. The way the Guild Lotus is good is if we get upheaval. I'm gonna take the fetch, but I don't think Guild Lotus is bad. Reman versus Rift Sower. I like Reman a lot. I'm gonna take the Rift Sower, I think. Suspend cards are a little bit better. Time walk. We're gonna do the twist here. I like slime a lot too, but we're gonna do the twist. This would be a good cryptozoologist deck as well. Twister, similar to Eternal Witness, lets you like continue reusing re the time walk. Almost like that pod. That eternal witness here. Time walk's pretty probably pretty insane with pod.
Deciding between Force Negation, Smuggler's Copter, and Corset Portal. I think I'm supposed to Copter. I do like having forces in these decks, though. Brainstorm, Ignoble, Control Magic. <clears throat> kind of a hot Brainstorm deck. Mystical Tutor and a Fetch as Shuffles already. Also works with the Augur Bottom, the Brainstorm. Put the card in the graveyard for Dig Two Time. Right now we have no removal. And Blue Green's not known for removal though, so I'm gonna take the control magic. Oh. Excuse me. Just belching up a storm over here. I'm not even drafting storm. So we need the botanical sanctum, but we need the time warp even more. Just based on what we're doing over here. Hey, sup reading pool, how you doing? Love the spell pierce too. Is this a regrowth? Maybe we'll wield we'll, we'll, we'll that regrowth. Coming on a little strong, Dizigoth. Coming on a little strong. That's why we love you. Let me know if this volume's good. Hell yeah, Zodiac Brave. Much appreciated. Help and support the, the charity cause. Yeah, the absolute best way to make sure that we keep doing these 4v4 charity events every year is to donate to the charities. Show us that you're enjoying them. Currently the best opposition deck ever. The Cultivate's almost more tempting. We just need one deranged hermit though, right? And then all of a sudden it's good. I almost grabbed that Frantic Search, just because it fills up the graveyard real nice for Dig. Now I have to choose between Oracle and Deranged Tournament. I think with the opposition, I'm just supposed to take the Deranged Tournament. But we already have the Zoos. I'm just going to take the damn Oracle. Oracle's so fucking good. And fuck it. No, I am Trombone. There's a link in the stream description. Siltify Link. Oh, right there. It's a much better way to donate. If you send me money, then I'm, like, getting taxed on it. <laughs> it's like adding a, adding a third step. Hell yeah, thank you, I am Trombone. Thanks for supporting Doctors Without Borders. And the Cube for Charity stream off. You ate Magus? Well, I'm not playing Magus just for Huntmaster. Did we get like a Progenitus though or something? I'll jam it. We get a whole other pack here. Time to open Soul Ring. Wow, no Soul Ring. 
fucking drop. Strip mine versus miscalc. I think I want the strip mine. Will eternal windows and such. I took that auger over um, the green crucible. No, we might not even play the auger. Well, there's a progenitus for the Magus, we still want to consider that. That does just fucking win sometimes. But then you have to have a progenitus in your deck. I'd like the progenitus Magus plan better if we had that brainstorm. I think I'm just going to grab Relic. Maybe. Maybe just grab Relic. Sheldock. Woodfall Primus. Woodfall Primus is not a bad one to get with Magus. Riftwing is pretty good. More suspended in our time walk deck. I'm going to take the Sheldock. The auto select. The auto select is just showing you what'll happen if you goof the pick. This deck is sweet. I hope I didn't fuck it up. Natural order, preordain, shark typhoon. Wish I'd grab that progenitus. Might come back. God, I hate passing preordain. Hate it. We lost the first round with white black. Game one, we beat a pile of planeswalkers. Game two, we lost to um, fucking Hasty Reanimator Emrakul. <laughs> Plus Oath of Druids. And then game three, we lost to a pile of Planeswalkers. Ooh, Hex Drinker. I'm into you. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Reaper in mind, because those six months. Hell of a time to see a channel, hum. I faced Jim Davis last year, Zodiac. I don't know if anybody else faced anybody else. The Jim Davis matchup was awesome because we were both playing for the trophy. Yeah, the bot of this stream is going to be completely unwatchable. It's just me like belching the whole way through. Yeah, I don't know why Numont's not bang. Maybe it was too much after last year. 
Maybe Jim wanted to switch it up. I understand. I sympathize. I sympathize with Numan. It is not fun to lose to me two years in a row. Oh, he's working. He's literally working on another charity stream. Well, now I feel like a jerk. <laughs> nice, Lord Montezuma. Yeah, good luck recovering. all the shit I want. It's like one card too many. Usually I'm not keen on Woodfall Primus, but we do have like two natural order effects here. this strip mine it like really only works well with the eternal witness I'm a little bit worried about uh, having the forests for Rufellos right how are we abusing time twister we're rebounding time walk with it So this is 10 green, 8 forest, and 7 blue. That's pretty good. I think Moto's telling me that I could fit some, uh, fit some more forests and islands in. I did cut a lot of lands and then like didn't add any more. Alright, I'll play the damn strip mine. Stream Maker. Yeah, it's possible we wanted like one more land here. Maybe cut the ooze. Sorry, JRC, you just must be losing. Next 
You want to play the Gilded Goose over Ooze? I don't know if I like that idea, but I do kind of want to play another land. Fuck, this is tough. I mean, I'll just take your suggestion. This does make this like a worse opposition deck. Hey, Awakening Zone makes the sub, makes the 27 months there. Fuck, hum. Fuck. Uzi is really good with opposition. Let's make another 3 3 every turn. I could cut the Woodfall Primus for it, maybe. We're fine with Avenger being our second natural order target. We have an opponent now, so I'll stop digging with the deck. Time walk, how fortunate. Love the mystical can also go get me um Natural Order. Explore. I mean, I'm basically on the play now. Pretty okay with that. Sucked. Kind of hoping that Gargaroth would just win. That's what I was hoping. Interesting.
I'd feel better about this board state if I had, like, upheaval or something in my deck. As is, there's not really a lot of that I can do with this mana. I don't even have like dig through time in here or anything. Fair enough. Uh oh, is that what they pitched? High tide? <laughs> Not what I expected.
So we need, like, Eternal Back Twister into Time Walk, Time Warp. We need to get to a spot where we can take an extra turn and opposition tap hole breaker. This is, like, almost good. It's not quite, but it's almost good. With them at 23. But we can natural order for Progenitus. And have a good blocker. But Hullbreaker still gets to like bounce my things and Garrick still gets to make lethal threats. So it's almost better to get Woodfall Primus and just like blow up the Garrick, which is losing. You know, it's losing. We can natural order for Eternal Witness. Twist then. We warp. the Signet, then I should have the mana to, um, Twister plus cast Time Warp again, but then I won't have the mana to put out this Hexstreaker. Okay? I think it's correct to Twist here. What I should have done is not play the Tree Speaker and just sack one of these Elephant Tokens for the Natural Order. Oh, shit. I do want the world leader against the dorks, but I don't want to cut any of these cards because then my deck works less well. Fuck, I don't know. Storm. I don't think I have Mystical Tutor here. Next turn we're gonna run out the Magus, and then we can see what they do before we Mystical.
took my life off track Confronted by an ancient man A lipstick demon on his back He grabbed me with his leather claws Yes, this is very early for me He said you're too proud to be wise, son But you're too stupid to grow old, he said He said He said He said I'll tell you a little story About the wicked witch of wonder Yeah, they're chilling on force negation over there. They should uh <laughs> wait to counter whatever I tutor for him. people here. Let's go Eternal Witness off the top. Where does Time Warp, huh? Either one. Yeah, so what people could get memes, they could also play Uro by themselves a turn. Hey, co pilot, thanks for the 37 months. Appreciate you. be dead. <laughs> yeah, draw spell or two would help, for sure. I mean, we do have time twister. Sun for six. So we're not getting upheavaled here. They're gonna cryptic tap me to survive a turn and then gain life with the Gargaroth. Is their plan? It's a good plan. Tab. That's how I feel. Yeah, 
they did bring Progenitus back. That Progenitus was a good cut. You're hurting the Natural Order decks when you cut Progenitus. So I like leaving it in, especially if you're if you still have Mangus. Here. Like they bounced my shell dock and then they just went told it into play. That'll do her. Game three we go. They had a Black Lotus game there. I wonder if Show and Tell is going to still be in for game three. Pardon the yawn. Fuck home. Do we mole? Because we have Progenitus in the opener. You see that brainstorm? Right now, our backup Magus hit. It's just Avenger of Zendikar, which is pretty beatable. But if you have it with Time Walk, make like three tokens. I have no idea what to bottom here. It might actually be the Mystical Tutor. Hopefully I don't regret that one. The reason I like keeping Hextricker over the Mystical Tutor is because we did see Force Negation out of them. So you spend your Mystical Tutor and go get your card and then cast it and they Force Negation is like kind of a blowout. Whereas just playing Hextricker and leveling it, we just win.
to the cut me off blue or cut me off tree speaker. Choices, choices, decisions, decisions. They have seen um, one double blue card out of us in a time warp. And I'm not going to offer a trade with Tree Speaker here. Because we have like natural order effects. Can they race? What up? Hey, Cal Byron, six to ten months. I'm actually not sure how good the progenitus hit is with Shell Dog. It kind of turns my um, my two natural orders into poop, and the opponent's shown a willingness to dick with my Shell Dogs before. Almost better to grab a land there. Oh, Smuggler's Copter is a way to get Progenitus back into our deck. That's kind of sweet. The Smug Loots. Good win. Yeah, cheese them out, huh? Back-to-back <laughs> -back pro everything wins. Fellas would have been an awesome draw for the chain. Maybe want to draw like Eternal Witness or some shit. Do something to do on turn three. Manadork would still be awesome too. Play Magus. Uh, my team is a uh, team mana traders.
Yep. Hopefully nothing too nasty off this Mox turn. Yeah, right now one drop's actually good. Because we can just dip, like, immediately natural order off of it. Sand Mega Land last turn. Interesting. Sequencing that like that because if they have a daze, then they're getting the copter, not the control magic here. Tracker, tracking, we tracking. Played a few, but they got answered. Another color. Fun. We could win this if we could get into our shell dock, but we can't quite. We can like Nissa get a land out to 23 and then loot down to 22. Haley Grack thinks the 23 months. Then it's like an uptick too. So we're like literally one card away, right? I'm getting to stabilize here. Does that do it? Does that fucking do it? An opposition in play.
be a pretty insane one to pull off. We'll see, though. One's got a lot of disenchant effects in their deck. They still have a draw engine going with Tracker. Creature, leave like one plant token up, but like questing me specifically. I guess. Tapping blue here because uh, then I won't have to worry about Glenn on my next turn. Opposition can tap a questing beast, Oltanya. <laughs> All of chat. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Got it! Got it! Hey, Team J, bro, thanks for the raid. Y'all are coming in on a pretty fucking epic comeback. My opponent stole my Elder Gargaroth twice. <laughs> had, had me at two life. Glenlander up. My board is opposition. 24 cards at my library. And a Sheldock Isle with a fucking um, Avenger underneath it. Um, and a Smuggler's Copter in play. And we had to <laughs> and we had to very specifically play Nyssa, pull a forest from the deck, crew Smuggler's Copter, draw our one fetch land. <laughs> Cause all of our spell-based ways of going of going down a card would have gotten countered by Glenn. But the fetch land let me crack to one life, held <laughs> activate Sheldock, get Avenger in play, win with opposition. It was a it was a very unlikely scenario series of events, but we hit. Well, we fucking hit. Oh fuck. 
Again, huge thanks to the raid from Team J-Bro. If you're not following Team J-Bro, you should be. He's fucking great. Him and Jim Davis organized this whole thing, this Cube for Charity 4v4 event. If you want to support us, if you want to support the charity stream, there's a link in the stream description, and the charity command um, brings up the Tiltify link. You can support Doctors Without Borders. That's the team I'm playing for. If you watch the Jim Davis team, you can see the charity that they're playing for. We're all trying to raise money for a good cause. It's the goal of the old weekend here. Doing a little bit of tryharding, a little bit of uh, fun competitive spirit. How's the 4v4 work? We're doing a trophy race. You can see at the bottom of the corner, in the bottom here, we're currently tied at 6 to 6. And these are the current records. Holy shit. Hogbog's on a fucking tear. She is crushing. Cedric hasn't started drafting today either. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Mr. Hairbrain, thanks for the sob. Oh shit, what up? Hey, old shipwreck, thanks for gifting some subs. Oh shit, what up? Congratulations to Mr. Hairbrain, to Hey Dude, what's up? To Unreal Dustin, to Alan3377, and the Insister. Oh shit, what up? Thanks, old shipwreck, thanks for supporting the old stream Marino. The old Progenitus in the opener again, huh? Hands a little gaslight. Funny, I'm mystical tutoring for uh, for natural order, and then just like having a progenitus here. But now I'd be a mana short. So I'm just gonna play the Nissa. Oh, that one, that one's way better. Play the dream route in case I wanted a uh, mystical game. I think the Sacred Foundry might not be a red splash, it might just be for like an off color fetch. I guess we'll find out. Maybe. Jumping here changes the clock at all. Like we take four, we go to fourteen, and leveled up hex drinker is a three turn clock. If we're at eighteen, then a leveled up hex drinker is a three turn clock.
Strip from the deck. I couldn't. I'd already played my two lands. If a play is an option, it'll highlight. Wow. This is a balance. They got a balance for me. Could just be a wrath. Either way, I don't want to kill the Skyclave. Oh, the br fucking Progenitus shuffled. <laughs> I was like, where'd my fucking thing go? <laughs> hmm. I feel like upticking is usually just correct. Wild game so far. Hex Trigger versus actual Regenitus. <laughs> Clear board. Oh shit, what hey, Retina Blast, thanks for the sub, thanks for 49 months. Two moxes, two moxes in that deck. So Smuggler's Copter can clear the Teferi here. Thing to loot into. I guess it'll pa just pass, huh? Oh, 
I mean, a surprise blocker off the shield that could matter. Time walk to get to win. Wouldn't that fucking suck? Pretty epic matches so far. I am dropping X in one draft, yeah. One of those so far. What we really want to draw here is like something to do in between Elvish Mystic and the rest of our hand. This would be gas. A dork that taps for anything would be gas. GG's Necromancer, and thanks for the luck. Sick match. I really hope my trip to Berlin works out. This is one of the bands that I was like really excited to see. Yes. Yes. I don't think we saw enough of the deck to be sideboarding to Zestalim. Lucanos is good against uh, like fast aggro and opposing mana dork decks, and is not good against like a tempo deck. Playing one for one removal and stuff. The reason Ooze is in here is because it's good with opposition, which Lucanos is not. These chill docks, though.
I guess that's a scry four, huh? It was a time warp type thing. It's a real useless ratio, real Nick Wham. Nobody can agree on like what a fair deck versus an unfair deck is. The example I always give is like turn one Thoughtseize, turn two him to Turok. Is like gonna be pretty much any opponent. It seems brutally unfair, but you see that in a deck, you're like, this deck's too fair. If you're just thinking about like how to structure your main deck though, if your question's about that, like do I main deck this spell pierce or whatever? That's a more useful question, maybe. And to that end, I think Spell Pierce is a great main deck card in this cube. What's the latest final in my collection? Um, Super Van Vacation by One Mods. Which is another band <laughs> that I'm hoping to see in Berlin. Okay. Well, normally I would ooze here, but uh, <laughs> I think we should miss a hum. March. Chains Addiction. It's Desert Fest Berlin. I always get my M months mixed up. May and March. I think it's March though. I think it's the... Or no, it must be May. No, it's May. It's the later one. So I did, just did this there. They've got Top and Mentor in their deck. It's pretty hot. The Soulfire Grandmaster implies that they've got um, Time Walk as well. The other thing that implies that they have Time Walk is that they cast it last game. But those are the only things. Those are the only hints we have. turn here. We'll see. My holidays are indeed going well, thank you. Uh oh. Okay. 
Okay. I'm still gonna go get time lock. what I'm gonna get. My holidays are indeed going well. Thank you, Sneaky Homunculus. Something explosive? Alright, let's. I'll try to. Oh no, it's not a land. I guess I'll draw it. The way it played out, the Elvish Mystic could have served, but I liked having soft, more mana for like soft counters and stuff there. God, that Eternal Witness would have just been fucking lethal, huh? Could have drawn it here. figure out what's a better one to grab if they're about to be time walking. It's probably actually the Skydiver. This is a Mana Dork under Sheldog. I think they're pretty far away from Mind Slaver. No, I'm only on draw, uh, draft number one of the day, Team Salty, and this is the finals. The draft that I finished last night with, I lost in the first round. I don't have an Augur of Autumn in play, Fats Master. Master. What happened to the White Black deck? The White Black deck got Emrakul. It was pretty vicious. I thought that deck was good. It looked really good the, the game that we won with it. Yeah, my opponent uh, resolved an Oath Trigger, got a Grizzlebrand, went down to three life drawing with Grizzlebrand, and I had Caracas in my hand for the Grizzlebrand, and some creatures in play, and I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna win this fucking game. And then I went Faithless Looting into, into <laughs> Shallow Grave, and um, <laughs> it killed me with Emrakul, and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna win this fucking game. <laughs> We do redraft if we drop a match, yeah. Fuck, maybe I should have taken that Emery. Oh no, never mind. Let's 
see. They're getting back to Grandmaster. They did already burn Time Walk. I'm feeling like extremely stupid for taking their Skydiver <laughs> after that. <laughs> I don't think we saw the Black Lotus in the first game. Look at they have a Black Lotus. I will play this here Black Lotus here. Fuck! Shit! Dicks! One card in hand. Is it a good one? Please don't be a good one. Uh, it seems like it's gonna be a good one. Oh, that's fine. At least the skydiver's tapped. Opponent scooping to the next to us taking an extra turn there. And that's it there, folks. Four drafts, three trophies. Not a bad rate so far. Let's keep it up, huh? Let's keep it the fuck up. All good decks.